apparently someone got into a lot of trouble because they did a review of this Behringer microphone and they said that it was a clone of the Shaw SM57. So I'd like to say straight away that this is nothing like a Shaw SM57. Nothing like it, doesn't look like it, it's totally not like a Shaw SM57. <laughs> This is the Behringer SL75C, and it's interesting that it's called a 75C, which is backwards, 57, and it doesn't look or resemble in any way the Shaw SM57. It's a cardioid microphone. It has an internal shock mount system, and it comes with a stand clip and a rather nice case, actually. It's a plastic case, but it's pretty strong. Frequency response is quoted as 40 hertz to 15 kilohertz. It has an impedance of 310 ohms and a sensitivity of minus 54 dB. We have to remember that the Behringer SL75C is a lot cheaper actually than the Shaw, in all honesty. It's a great deal cheaper. So this is a great alternative, especially for people who want to set up a little studio at home and they can't afford to maybe set up a, a studio or they don't want to treat their rooms. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they live in their places and um, they don't want tiles and things up on the walls. So these microphones, these dynamic microphones are ideal for that because you hold them close and they also reject sounds around them pretty well because they're not as sensitive or as, or as um, detailed perhaps as a condenser microphone. So th this is a great buy for someone starting out and who wants to make YouTube videos because it's got a really respectable sound and it's really cheap. So this is the sound of the Behringer from the front. This is the Behringer from the side. This is the Behringer from the back, from the side and back to the front again. So this is a, a pretty good sounding microphone in my opinion for that kind of money. I think it's somewhere around 20 pounds. I'll put the price up anyway, but this is a very cheap microphone and I think it's actually quite a nice buy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it now with the SM57. So let's start. This is the Behringer SL75C. This is the Shaw SM57. So you might have got a taste of the slight differences between them when I did that quick check. So this is the sound of the Behringer SL75C spoken into from the front in a box room, but it's close to me. So hopefully the box room isn't interfering too much. And this is the Shaw SM57 being spoken into at the same place, held at the same distance from me. So you can get some idea of how this thing is different from the cheaper Behringer. This is the Behringer, this is the Shaw. I'd like to say that this is not the Shaw, it's the Behringer and it's not a clone. This is the Shaw and it's a clone of itself. And this is the, how the Shaw sounds. Now let's test the, the pattern, the polar pattern. This is the Behringer SL75C from the front. This is from the side, this is from the rear, back to the side, and this is the front again. This is the Shaw SM57 from the front, from the side, from the rear, from the side and from the front again. All joking aside, I really do think that the Behringer SL75C is a very nice microphone. Considering what you pay for this microphone, you do get some good sounds out of it. And I think this would be so useful to anyone who wants to start up making YouTube videos or whatever, and they don't necessarily want to treat their rooms for sound. There's no way I want to treat my rooms for sound because I wouldn't like to be living in a room that's been sound treated. For a start, the sound is very dead anyway and I don't know if any of you have heard uh, or been inside an anechoic chamber but when you go inside one of those you just feel like you're in a dead hole it's 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 horrible it's 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 quieter than zero it's just it's like minus 20 it's horrible it's peculiar Ugh. so I don't want that in my house so most people probably don't want to treat their room so you know these kinds of microphones are ideal for that kind of thing I think this has got a pretty respectable sound for the money that you pay for this. And I think it's actually a bargain buy. I really do. So, uh, you know, in spite of people saying that it's a clone, I don't think it really is meant to be a clone. It looks like the body shape and everything, but you know, what's inside is, is what counts. This does sound different and it's a lot, lot cheaper. So i heartily recommend the Behringer SL75C. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, Behringer, I was joking, it's nothing like the SM57 at all. Well, not in sound anyway. Cheers for now.